Michael, congratulations. A hard-fought victory there over Gary Anderson. The first set, not your brilliant best, but the second one was more like you. Yeah, of course, but it's always an edgy game. It's always difficult, especially in a format like this, in the first round of the World Grand Prix. And then to play Gary, you don't know where you stand, you don't know what you have to do. You still have to win your game, and that, that makes it tough. But on the end run, I've won my game, and that's the most important thing. We know you like the double in, but this short format is a horrible one for you it's guys. A, it, it? I don't like it, to be fair. And no one likes this. No one of the top players like it, because it's, it's more chance for other people to beat you. As simple as that. That's how it is. Would you like to see more double in? Tournament across the year? Of course, uh, we'll be say if I say yes, but this, why would you change something? Now it's unique, you know what I mean? Why would, I wouldn't change it, but uh, yeah, it's still nice to play it. You and Gary have had some great battles over the years, some of the best games that we've seen over the last decade, but has that kind of come to an end now? And do you see Gary at the end of his career? Uh, everyone knows Gary, I got him quite high up because with his talent, with his performance, and what he's capable of. But I think lately he doesn't do enough for his own game, do you know what I mean? Uh, in the practice room, we also, yeah, everyone knows him, we call him the part-timer, do you know what I mean? He does whatever he wants, and that's also his right, do you know what I mean? He's been on the tour for so long, what do you expect? So, uh, I, I like the bloke, I hope he keeps battling on for, with me for the next 10 years, but I don't know what's going to happen with uh, Yeah, it's going to be tough to call. What's the prep been like? Because we saw you in Belgium. It's the most animated I've seen you on a stage after defeat. That you were livid with yourself. When you, what have you done in between now and then? Relax. Enjoyed <laughs> some time with my family and uh, yeah, things like that. That was that was a horrible performance. It was below anything what I f should have done, but it, it happened. And well, what can you do? It's part of the game, unfortunately. But I'm glad it happened in the Euro Tour and not in the big tournaments. Michael, pleasure. Thank you. Michael, 10 years since you won your first PDC major. Was this tournament, was Against this tournament that holds special memories for you? It's always been, because I like to normally, I do I do have to admit, I prefer playing uh, Dublin, because that's where this should, tournament should be. But now it's the different circumstances, because there's a lot of refugees, Ukrainian refugees in the hotel there, so it's not possible to, to hold the, hotel, the, the tournament over there. But on the other side, it, it, it's... It's always nice to play this tournament and wherever you play, you always want to win your games and that's really important. Premier League and World Match Play already in the bank, any major targets between now and the end of the season? Yeah, of course, this one and uh, of course the European Darts Championship and the Grand Slam of Darts, that's the three big ones on my, on my list at the moment and uh, it would be nice if we can win minimum of one of them, so uh, we're going to see what's going to happen. I feel good, I feel comfortable, but uh, I know there's more in the tank. How far away do you feel you are to the top form? 10%. Still, there's still work to do, but it's good that you know there's still work to do because if you know it, it's all there and you think you're the boss again, then you're going to be too relaxed. And I don't want to be in that position anymore. I love to fight. Cheers, Michael. Yeah. Just on what you were saying about Gary and Michael, do you think that the desire has gone there? Gary? No, no, no. Gary on his, day, on his day can still beat anyone, but mm -hmm. you, ne you never know what's going to happen. You never know with him. Because that's because he doesn't have too much match with him. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't play enough tournaments, and that doesn't. It, in my opinion, that doesn't really suit it, suit his game. On the other hand, I still got a lot of respect for him. I always will have because what he achieved and what he did for darts, I think that's been incredible. But people getting older and people sometimes getting fed up with what they do for a really, really long time. That's in any job in the world. Do you know what I mean? So I can't really blame him.